Woo guys, welcome back to the last calisthenics related video on this channel. Man that hair. So yeah, this is part two of my reaction to Jack the Vegan's video. And I have to say, I'm sorry for all you guys that watched watched it also and be like yes you totally destroyed the neck i watched 15 seconds of the video right from the start the first point he got wrong he totally didn't understand what i what i mean by you need to master basics you need to go back to basics you know if you are stuck at front level that's another example in my video where i started again my calisthenics journey after the break i said that i will focus only on hypertrophy hypertrophy and hypertrophy and vegan saw it oh i got him i got the neck i will put it there well guess what I'm not that dumb that you will learn skills only by spamming basics and hypertrophy. And my answer to that in my previous video, I highly suggest, I highly recommend you to watch it because I regret spending six minutes on watching that trash. It, it, it is trash. First 15 seconds and he already said a complete BS. My videos from when I stopped doing documentaries is kind of like a story you almost like need to watch every single one of them so you understand the the full story you know so what i wanted to say by this is that jack vegan said that i'm obsessed with hypertrophy of course i'm a little bit obsessed because i did strength pretty much only strength training for those five years five and a half years uh, how it ended up not that well so in my case i will focus more on hypertrophy because it takes more time to build muscles he totally missed my one of my first videos i did on this topic where i said that the equation that will lead you to unlock every skill is hypertrophy plus strength equals skills the hypertrophy in that equation was bigger because as i said building muscles takes more time by the way, you will always gain some strength if you train for hypertrophy and vice versa. It's not, it's, it's the same, like you are not a hundred percent introvert. That was already two problems and I, I still haven't seen the whole video. That was just first three minutes or uh, another problem with that, bad research. I didn't train planche for six years. It was maybe like 99% front lever training and 1% planche training. So that's why I can't planche because I didn't train it. I can't front lever because I didn't have the strength. But I didn't have the strength because I had and I still have <laughs> small muscles. Okay, we will start here with the video where I basically said or at the beginning I said, I don't remember every video that I made, that if you are born with fattier legs, bigger legs, longer legs, your limit, what you can reach in calisthenics, in statics especially, charge, is already lowered. Jack Vegan said to that, that you will need more strength. I will say it again, you can't keep getting stronger to infinite. There is some limit. And if I will say again that example, you have two people, one with big legs and he will reach his maximum in terms of muscle mass and strength and the second has small thin legs no legs he skipped like they who will be better and and the second guy reached also his maximum in terms of strength and muscles if you think that you can keep getting stronger and stronger to infinite then i don't i don't know who's the fool here of course lighter legs will make these lever skills easier but it doesn't mean certain skills are out of reach unless you're abnormally disproportional or you're kind of hitting your limit in terms of your strength due to other factors such as your diet you can't get enough food in for whatever reason you don't have the time to keep training or you're kind of getting older well out of range you know i always say for example one arm planche or one arm front lever they probably will be out of your range if you are basically if you start calisthenics with the worst build possible meaning you have big legs, everything what's fattier on your legs and it's closer to the end of the lever. That will make such a huge difference. That, that's why I always recommend you want to planche, just don't train legs. Learn it. Man, stop focusing. Skip leg day, learn the skills you want to learn, so you at least 
so you at least once or for some time you can do it and then start training your legs if you will do it the other way you will maybe never learn it you will maybe quicker die than learn full pledge <laughs> if you are on, on his side it's your choice i can do anything about it it's okay that that brings us to a thing i wanted to mention that jack vegan's video is packed in that kind of like andrew tate style if you will say something confidently zdenek is obsessed with well that's not confident <laughs> he's obsessed with hypertrophy and he totally forgets the strength aspect of calisthenics then everybody oh, oh, oh yes you are totally right you know what i thought at first when i saw that jack vegan did a video about me i thought that he will be there standing or sitting with 10 other scientists zdenek latal <laughs> these tests showed that hypertrophy is useless you gotta do strength training big legs doesn't mean anything bad <laughs> so let's continue kind of getting older things like that can affect your training but it's not because you just have big legs you just need more strength problem three okay if you follow Zenex advice is you're gonna be ignoring specificity <laughs> where where i said you don't have to do specific training. Send me the clip, comment down the timestamp of the video. We all know you need specific training. I will say it again. He thinks that I claim that all you need is to do basics. Spam basics, spam basics for five, 10 years. Well, then probably you will be able to hold it hold front lever for two seconds for example you know skills skills are not something you can learn without muscles skills are not like dancing for example for that you don't need anything you can just go and start learning it. you don't need anything skills are impossible to learn if you don't have basic strength obviously if you want to learn just a front lever you don't have to be spamming basics for 10 years that's 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 dumb idea everybody knows that but if you will for some reason from the start aim for one arm front lever that will require a lot more muscles to build up to your full potential in that skill you need to train it specifically so your body understands what those muscles what what you want from the body to do i am here for an hour i think and i didn't get anywhere man i think i will do part three this is this is like a movie the the equation hypertrophy plus strength equals skills that sounds like you just gotta do hypertrophy and then strength training that doesn't necessarily mean specific training and you will get it but you are not the dumb that you you would think that you are good in what you do if you want to be good in drawing you gotta draw if you want to be good in robbing banks i i thought that i don't have to explain every sentence i will say but okay let's continue we don't have time all this means is you want planche well you need to eventually train planche to get planche obviously you wouldn't rush it you would start with the easier progressions of course all that jazz but of course if you want planche you need to train it of course What's the problem where I said that you don't need to do specific training? Think about what you are hearing. Don't just watch it. Okay, he didn't say that I need to train specifically. Then I won't train specifically. Problem so four. For some reason, Zenek either doesn't know this or doesn't mention this to his audience, but it seems to be that he thinks that as soon as you start training just for statics, that you huh? cannot build muscle. That it just <laughs> doesn't happen. It just switches off sometimes. Your body just realizes, oh, I'm in a planche. I won't build any muscle. That's not the case. Uh, yeah, but you gotta firstly get into the level. You can use statics for hypertrophy. So you still need to get big muscles before you jump into statics otherwise you won't learn it how i take calisthenic uh, skills skill is something you learn not something you build muscle with of course if you just bam front lever front lever planche front lever pull-ups front lever pull-ups you will probably gain some muscle but it is a skill not really muscle builder for that you got pull-ups or those weighted pull-ups your 
favorite way that pull ups. <laughs> this brings us again to those bicycles words. So you get to a good point in uh, weights, in lifting weights. And then at, after this point, you get all the skills quick, you know, instead of starting with the skills and going a long way for each skill, it's, it's too long. And it might take off your motivation because you see very slow progress. What, what will you do with those skills then? I don't care. Do whatever you want. If you want to do skills to build muscles, I don't know. I believe that the squeeze and stretch method... You mother... I still believe that stretch and squeeze method is the best. If you would train like a Hannibal, well, he definitely spent at least five years of just spamming basics. You know, he did those muscle-ups, pull-ups. Basically, he spent some time doing basics, just, just basics. And then he got everything super fast. So if you will do it the same way, of course, it will be mentally difficult to just keep spamming basics. I know not everybody likes doing pull-ups every workout. Everybody just wants to do the fun stuff, those planche presses, front lever pull-ups and all that. But guess what? You gotta do what you don't like to be able to do what you like. He has limited experience and limited knowledge on how to effectively train for static skills. I think I know a lot of uh, things after my six year sky stings journey. Even though I didn't learn anything, well, I learned full front lever for four seconds, so at least something. Uh, that was only because I built a little bit of muscles. First three, four years, I didn't build anything. I was just doing front lever. I did specific training. Eh? And where I ended up? You, you can't give people advices because you haven't, because you didn't learn anything. But the things I say can say anybody. It can, it can say, I don't know, it can, you can say it also. Because what I say, do basics. Build muscles and then build strength. Problem of today's people is that they, by seeing all the skinny guys, again, hobbits, <laughs> They think that they don't need muscles because they was just those small guys that look skinny. Yes, you don't like to hear it, but I will say it. They look skinny. Today's people are blinded that they can do full planche with tiny skinny arms without muscles. You know what? Go to the gym, put 80 kgs on the bar if you weigh 80 kgs and hold it at your belly button, at your center of gravity. You, you won't make it. It is, it is something different, but 80 kgs is 80 kgs. <sighs> yeah, I, I said it. Basically, my videos that I did could do anybody, in my opinion. Because he's been struggling with his own journey in calisthenic skills, because he's been stuck for six years now. If you are watching Jack Pegan, if you would know something about my journey, I started skills way earlier than I should have started. Th that is the biggest problem. I was just blindly doing skills in hope that I will learn it someday. Well, I learned front lever after six years. <laughs> he doesn't research or back up a lot of his advice with evidence and rarely does he show proof for what he said. What evidence do you wa want for do basics? Everybody says that. Lysan says do basics. La Rosa, do basics. Your evidence is everywhere on YouTube. If you notice, when you watch my content, such as this video, I will give you a point or something you should do or advice and I will give you the evidence shortly after to back up and substantiate what I said. I got into this habit because I did a PhD in synthetic biology and they literally drill that into you that if you say a point, you need to back it up. You spent years of studying or some something, but you still, in those first 15 seconds, you totally missed what I said what I meant by my videos, back to basic. Can't just be saying random things and not back it up. Here's one example. One guy has an interesting video about it and if I should make it shorter, he said pretty much this. Consuming protein is the same as consuming coffee, for example. Your body gets used to it. And so you should do one day of no protein at all. None. To start again fresh then, the next day. I don't know if this truly works, but at least it's an interesting idea. As you can see, no evidence, no backing up. Yeah, because I didn't find the video. <laughs> it, it, was, it was meant just like an interesting thought to maybe think about, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have put it there. No evidence, no backing up. He just says, this is an interesting idea. Why don't you know? Because I haven't found the video. <laughs>
people or your audience are going to look at this and think, huh, there's probably truth to this. I don't know if this truly works because he's telling me he's put it in the video, like mesh between other decent advice. And then they'll probably see, you know, either it does work or doesn't work. I don't know because I haven't seen the evidence. Here's another example. Why hypertrophy is bigger than strength training? It's because building muscle size takes more time than gaining strength. Where is he getting this from? I don't know. You can literally type in five seconds, does building muscle takes more time? You know, I thought that these are obvious things, but people are blinded and wants to just do skills and forget totally the basic part, the most important thing you have to do. This is the famous sentence, the bigger your base is, the higher the peak will be, the pyramid. You know, if you have small base, your pyramid will be small. If you have bigger base, your pyramid will be taller and so you will reach harder skills. What evidence you need for that? Everybody knows that, but not everybody follows it. If you say that doing basics is wrong idea, then... Chapter 5. About two months ago, Zenik posted this video called Why CastSense Tutorials Are a Waste of Time. In this video, he goes around the problem of CastSense Tutorials, the problems of spam watching a lot of tutorials. With a lot of these points, I do agree with. I do agree there is an issue with CastSense Tutorials and watching too many of them. Let's say that Chris was the first one who did a frontline tutorial. And in this video, he claims he wants to be original on YouTube with his CastSense content. And I agree with both of these things because that's why I made my YouTube channel. But I want to show you guys this and tell me, does this seem rigid? This is a summary of all of Zenex Castanet's tip videos. I reviewed them all and put the main advice from each video. Yet, yeah, they're pretty much all the same, especially more recently. I know that uh, pretty much all these videos you showed there seems like they say the same things, but they all are a little bit different. For example, the starting calisthenics now is harder thanks to social media. That's different in saying that people are obsessed with skills and are starting because of them. And that's the reason why they will most likely stop doing basics and jump right away to skills. Master in, ba uh, in calisthenics basics means this or how is it called? That's again a little bit different because I said there that you shouldn't orientate based on your endurance. As I said in here, I could do 30 pull-ups in a row. Could I do front lever? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> so the most underrated muscle among calisthenics athletes that was focused on arms because arms are the first thing that will give up in your trainings. So again, it is a little bit different. That video showed based on how many years of basics you have you will most likely learn it faster if you have zero years you won't learn it if you have one year you will learn it somehow fast if you have two years you will learn it faster if i would have done one long video i would put all these things into like 20 minutes video and what else what else i should do then as time goes you fall into that youtube uh, youtube uh, youtube game and you just need to upload, upload, upload. So there's no time to create something 100% original. Every video you see here focuses on, let's say, different problem. The solution is the same, pretty much. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I reviewed them all and put the main advice from each video. Yeah, they're pretty much all the same. The most underrated muscle among Kaisnings athletes, that was about arms. You would say that telling people to do basics is not original, but these days, at least back then, it was. But what you'll notice if you go to his channel and just look at the titles, you'll see they've slowly and slowly been becoming more and more negative about calisthenics. Truth isn't always positive. Maybe it's never <laughs> really positive. And it's, and it's, I think, a good thing to talk about negative things. So here, Jack Vegan is like snowflake or how to say it. Life isn't only about positive uh, things. I don't know what's negative about casting transformations that are fake. Another example where you can catch him being a hypocrite is in this video where he says working your basics for high reps, which for him is around 20, is useless. Yeah, because as I said, I could do 30 pull-ups, no front lever. But then in this video, the whole point of the video is to learn and increase your pull-up reps so you can start learning calisthenics skills and static skills a lot faster. Because I wanted to strengthen my arms. <laughs> I could do, I don't know, weighted pull-ups, your favorite weighted pull-ups, but I decided to do endurance because I wanted to strengthen my arms. 
I could do anything. I, I could also do biceps curls, but I decided that way. So I just spam basics, so I get stronger arms, so then I can go back to the correct form pull-ups with the arched back and do more of these, because before the challenge I could do only like 6-7. So I decided for this challenge to boost my strength so my arms are not so weak and I can do more sets or more reps, harder variation, you know, arms are the weakest link so you gotta strengthen it. I could do something else, yeah, but I decided for this way. So he doesn't want to spam the platform with the same old information. Instead, he's spamming the platform with the wrong information. That's what you think. I don't think so. Which leads me on to my next point. He's harming calisthenics. Oh, no, no. Again, that, that's your opinion about me. Zenek is learning the more negative he is about calisthenics, the more views he's getting. So he's more consistently making negative videos about calisthenics. Okay, but why you are showing videos that are one year old? Now people think that all these videos he's showing are basically negative. He's just spreading negativity. Life is not positive all the time. Well, the answer is Daniel Wedner from Fitness FAQs. Ah, uh, Daniel Wedner. He tried for many years to unlock not even a full planche, but just a straddle planche, which for today's standards is nothing. Zdenek hating on Fitness FAQ, who has helped millions of people all for views. If I will take your style of thinking, then you shouldn't listen also to Fitness FAQs on how to planche when he can't do planche. Zenek made his own video about social media and how it can be harmful, yet it seems like he's not taking his own advice because for some reason he thinks a straddle planche at six foot two is not impressive. It is something, but today's standards are way higher. What you should do is when you see this kind of content pop up, you see that it's negative, don't play into it. Don't play into the negativity. Instead, try and be a bit more positive in the comments or just don't play into it. You don't have to comment something negative. Try and not to support people that are pushing this active negativity about the sport because it's not good for the overall health of the sport. As I said, th this is, this is kind of like snowflake style of uh, thinking. D don't bring the negativity in the sport. Be all the time positive. What's the funny thing about this? Uh, because Kai Snake's niche is small. I think that this drama also uh, like got to Chris Heria, for example, or Liza or Paul's. <laughs> it, it has to be funny watching us two kids <laughs> just arguing <laughs> about basics. And here you see where I wanted to help people, what I get from it. I get hate, or like I get hit, I get this video. <laughs> This is Zenek's video response to my video about planche grip. Here's what he says I said. Planche isn't about shoulder, tricep or bicep strength. <laughs> you are a silly if you thought that, because you will learn planche quicker, not by doing weighted dips or handstand push-ups, but thanks to how you will grip the bar. <laughs> you said that you will progress, that cause of your slow progress is the way how you grip the bar. Isn't, isn't the cause why you progress so slowly because you are not strong enough? The rest of the video is literally just him twisting my words and misrepresenting me so bad that I believe that he is just lying for views. Uh, this thing with the front lever, he told me in the comment section that I put it out of context. And if I remember correctly, he was watching the guy why he can front lever. He chopped down after three seconds of front lever hold. hold. So he said that it is it is most likely the strength, why he can do it. And then he said some additional information. So he said it is, it is a strength issue. So you need to increase your strength. You, you don't need that. So I cut it out. He also misrepresented Andrew Strong's planche program because he didn't do enough research and Andrew Strong responded to Zenek in the comments saying this. Let's take a look at what can offer us Andrew Strong's calisthenics app. We all know that it is a dumb plan to start planche journey only with five push-ups. But lastly guys, it gets even worse. 
I'm not even joking, this is what Zenit thinks of most modern women. In exchange, you will get a woman that is most likely totally brainless, with a poor personality, can't cook, can do laundry. Do you know how to do your own laundry? No. <laughs> Basically, you will just throw your money out of the window. One YouTuber said, by getting this woman, you are just getting a replacement of your hand. <laughs> These days, women have huge requirements. And when I say huge, I mean huge. Basically, without having millions in your bank account, you have zero chance. Minimum income. I want 500k or more. <laughs> And that's not all. You also have to be pretty. Bruh. In the best scenario with a muscular physique, having a Lambo, Ferrari, Bugatti. Well, what color is your Bugatti? Big house and last but not the least, being able to cook. Oh! Then maybe, just maybe, you have a chance. Yes! 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 In exchange, you will get a woman that is most likely totally brainless. <sighs> so guys, you saw it. Jacked vegan is a sketchy guy. Thank you guys that you listen to me. Even if you think that I'm an idiot, it is your opinion. I can't change it or, or like I tried it. Like Vegan said, he won't respond to this because he spends too much time. Man, <laughs> he took a month to do this video. At, at least, at least I was good for him as a content, from what I know, he should have from the video maybe like a uh, hundred bucks. So, <laughs> content, content. I want from this point, disturb your positive calisthenics niche community. You know, don't be scared. I, I, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs> what I wanted to say, I already said, there's nothing more, nothing, nothing new to add. You can take something from it, or not. It is up to you. And by the way, guys, one more advice. I suggest you to not share with people your mental state. You know, I did it. They didn't even get it. Like I didn't have a burnout or I or like depressions because of training. I had these things because of YouTube. Yeah, and by the way, I saw that inspiration from me with those memes, Jack Vegan. I noticed that. I noticed that inspiration. Whatever. See you guys. Yes, I was sitting here.